on the line right now with Spike Lee. All right, here you go. This is what we need. Is this because I need to get some of the shirts that he's selling on his Shopify yeah, store? Because they they're look amazing. Very nice. Spike, what's going on, man? How are you guys doing? More importantly, how are you? Yeah. You know, this is this is some BS and it's so unavoidable. I have been going into employees entrance, West Third Third Street for over twenty eight years. In twenty eight years no one's ever told me not to go to that entrance. The last time I went to that entrance, ladies and gentlemen, this on the radio, ESPN, ninety eight point seven, was Wednesday. Wednesday was a historic event at the world's most famous arena. Wednesday, there was a matinee of the Broadway play The Killer Mockingbird. 18,000 New York City kids, public school kids, who probably seen a Broadway play for the first time. I introduced the play. I went through the same exit I've been going through for over 20 years. Eight years, no one has ever told me in my mother's grave, no one, my late mother's grave, when she died when I was at South Wall, well, Boyle's College, she was 41, no one's ever told me ever not to come through the employee entrance. I've never asked the garden to produce an email saying such. No one's ever called me from the garden they call me when I'm a day late for the deposit on the astronomical season ticket price. They have my number. They have my email yesterday. And also, listen to this. If that entrance, which I've been going through for 20 years, is only for employees, why was a guy there taking scanning tickets? Yeah. My ticket got scanned along with other people. I was not the only the people who went through with me yesterday with that ticket scanned. So I'm glad you brought that up, Spike. Oh, let me, let me, let me, let right, me finish. So, my ticket, if, if that's not a employee entrance, if that's just a employee entrance, why have somebody there taking, scanning tickets? Because no one has ever told me not they're, they're goddamn liars saying they repeatedly told me. I want them to produce one person to look me in the eye and told me they said, Spike, you can't use the entrance. It never happened. Ever. Now, this is the entrance where they just put in, like, you're going through the airport, right? It's got the, uh, it's No, scanned. that's been there forever. I've been going there for 20 so, years. All right, so this isn't the same the entrance. The only thing they did, they put, like, the, 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 the the plastic thing over for the weather. I've been going there for 28 years. The same entrance. Because it's like going through an airport now. you got to put your bag through. Yes. Yeah. I that, went all through that. All right. Yeah, I I've never seen. I, honestly, I I'll be honest. I've never seen my tickets iPhone, being scanned. I put on my keys, my iPhone, my BlackBerry. I right. was good. Then I went inside. They scanned my ticket. I'm going to the elevator with a bunch of people who got their ticket scanned also, and the elevator's not moving. And I'm standing next to the guy, the elevator operator has an earpiece. And he's listening, and the guy comes up to me. I'm in the elevator. He comes to the front of the elevator and says, Spike, you need to get off the elevator. Mr. Lee, excuse me, Mr. Lee, to get off the elevator. I said, I'm not getting off the elevator. He said, Mr. Lee, you have to get off. I said, where, where, why have to get the elevator? Well, once you get off the elevator, I'll tell you. I said, I'm not getting off the elevator. So finally, the door closed. As you know, for people who don't know the garden, the floor is on the fifth floor. You have to take it the elevator on the ground floor, 33rd to 8th Avenue. You take the elevator up to the fifth floor where the court is. I've been doing this for 28 plus years. The door, elevator opens, and it's like they were there, like out of the, uh, some cat that ran out of Macy's stealing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now, Spike, the, the statement that they released today... It's a lie. They said that we have repeatedly asked him not it's to... It's a lie. It's a bold-faced lie. My mother's grave is a lie. No one has ever told me that you cannot use the police entrance. I used it Wednesday. So if somebody... They introduced had... introduce, they introduce, they introduce, uh, the killer Mockingbird. So if somebody had come to you, Spike, and called you up and said, Spike, from now on you have to go to the VIP entrance, you wouldn't have a problem with going to the VIP entrance? Not at all. 
That's why with the video that somebody, thank God, posted, you hear me repeating say, you hear me repeating, you know, you see me, you repeatedly hear me say, no one told me. Right. That God has my number. When you fill out a season ticket application, they want the world. Social Security, birthday date, business number, home number, cell phone, everything. If they want to reach me, they know how to reach me. What's the deal with the photo of you shaking hands with Jim Dolan that the Knicks okay. sent out? So Dolan always has to go by my seat, my court size seat to go to where he goes during halftime. So my head was down. I was on my phone, and he came up to me, and he said, we got to talk. I said, talk about what? He said, we got to talk. I said, Mr. Dolan, no one's ever told me, and I was not irate. I was very respectful. I did not use his profanity. I said, Mr. Dolan, no one's ever told me not to use employee entrance. And they said, well, now you know. I'd like to say something, though, because my head was spinning. I've never had this happen to me ever by the garden. So I didn't even realize that, you know, when we were speaking, and, uh, and I don't remember taking, shaking his hand. But he didn't want to say, I'm a filmmaker. That picture, when you look at the picture, is taken from the roof of the garden because the 20 to 3 second clock that's over the backboard is in the shot. Yep. They, that was a setup. They set that photograph up so they could use it. That was, that, that whole thing was arranged. Look at that picture. It's from the roof. Do you believe the, the that clock, this has... The, the, clock, the clock above the basket is in the shop. Does this have anything to do with your support of Charles Oakley, you think? I, Michael, I love you, but I cannot... I mean, I've been, I gotta keep saying this. I cannot speak for Mr. Dolan. Yep. I will say this. And I demonstrated today on first take. When I would not leave, I put my hands behind my back and said, arrest me like you did Charles Oakley. Here's what I'd like to say. This could have been very simple. Spike, can you just, which, which eventually happened. Because what they wanted me to do first was to leave the garden. Go take get back in the elevator, elevator. Go down back to Empire. Excuse me, the employee entrance. Walk get outside. Walk all the way around the Four Penn Plaza, which is on Thirty First Street. Then they then I have to re-scan my ticket. Number one, you can't re you can't scan a ticket twice. Yep. Number two, when you leave a sport arena, that you you leave, you can't come back in. So I was not going for the double thing. The dope fiend double cross. <laughs> I was not leaving. Uh. And finally, some African American ushers who I know, I grew up with these guys, fourth grade. They said, take this bike, come here, come here, brother, come here, brother. So like, listen to me. Will you be will it be acceptable to you if we get in the elevator? We go one floor to sixth floor and we'll walk you to your court side seat. I said, fine. And that was it. Now, they, could, they could have said that from the beginning, but they wanted me to leave the garden and walk around the block. Now, I want to go back to the Dolan conversation because you were on first take today, and you said you didn't want to talk about it. You were upset, and you didn't have a conversation it didn't sound like. But here, I mean, it was, was monosyllable, you know? I right. Wanna, what, can, what can you say to me? Well, I, mean, I, I was just trying to figure out, was he going to come over to apologize? If He's he could have apologized. Apolo All right, so if, Listen, but the opportunity question, was there. If he wanted to apologize, he could have. That's your question. Yes. When has anybody ever heard Mr. James Dolan apologize? True, so Thank far. You. But what I'm saying Thank is, you. is he coming now, over been, to you? Last night would have been the first. Right, all right. But but my, my point was, I was, I'm just trying to get all the facts here. That, like, you kind of shoot him away, it sounded like. Like, I don't want to talk about it. But there was an opportunity that if he wanted to apologize, he could have apologized. Oh, he could have. He's okay. the one. Wait, wait, he made his, He came directly to my seat. Row AA, seat 20. Courtside. The world's most famous arena. He came to me. I wasn't looking for him. 
It can't, they also it can't leave because they sent that photo, that photo. Now they're set up. Does he ever walk by you before? I mean, because he has to go that way when he comes out of that part of the garden? Does he stop? He walks by me, but we don't say nothing. We don't say, we don't even acknowledge each other. Oh, really? Interesting. And Spike, what's your yearly bill at the garden when they hit you up for, to pay? What, what are you paying every well, year? Well, uh, it's over $300,000. Are you rethinking that? Well, today, they did the math, and my, and my wife's going to kill me when I go home. <laughs> now, over $10 million, they say, Spike? Well, you know, adjustment for inflation. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny line, I said, I sound like Michael K. You, you're enjoying it. I sound like the Warner Scorsese show. I'm a mama look at the <laughs> <laughs> So, and it sounded like he kind of reprimanded you that he said, don't do it again. So I, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to. Oh no! Say that. So what? He, you just he just shook hands with you. He said, "Well, now you know. Well, now, now, you know. now you know." Now you know. My okay. head was so spinning. I don't remember shaking hands with him. I just wanted to be alone. What? What's because, your? Go ahead. What's your take, Spike, in the statement when he says that? That would they say the idea that Spike Lee is a victim is laughable? First of all. They should not use New York Knicks organization. Not use the word laughable. Agreed. <laughs> They're making me laugh. <laughs> so, and also, also, Mike, you know me. I'm a regular guy. I I just wanted to come to the game. That, as you know, Western Conference teams only come one time a year. I want to see my brother Ross. I want to see James. And May with the miracle. Here's the thing, the next one, no one's even talking about the game. Yeah. yeah. I'd not come, i not wake up in the morning and say, and, and plan this. This, ha this is not, is not of my doing. This, this thing, it should never happen. If, they, if, if, let me finish. If there was a, a policy that somehow had been installed since Wednesday, which I use the employee interest, can somebody let me know? Is that asking too much? If the Knicks has said, Spike, we know you've been using this for many high years, but there's new plan going, I would say, okay. And I also have to say, I, they, a, a, a month ago they told me I cannot leave the garden going down the ramp. Oh, you you tried to leave down the regular ramp, and they said you I can't do it. I leave down the ramp for twenty years, also. And a month ago, I was giving a leave this to Spike. There's new policy. I said you can't go up this way. I said why? There's new policy. So that is the first time it happened. I'm being harassed. So they need to tell me by email, phone, whatever, that I can go down the ramp. So what happened? You went a different way, or you just continued to go down the ramp? Well, then now I got to wait. You got to go out. Now I got three people escorting me out the game. Now it's crazy. Now, did, when you first arrived to thir the entrance at Thirty Third and Eighth, the, the media entrance, did someone, when you walked up to that door, go, "Hey, Mr. Lee, we're sorry, you can't even come in this door," or they let you get through and you made it Never all the way happened. to the elevator? Sir, if that would have happened, why have my ticket been scanned? Right. My ticket was scanned out of the elevator. Then, then, and, oh, another thing, I think they got me on surveillance because they're looking for me. They pulled me off the elevator after my ticket was scanned with other people at the ticket scan. I was the only one that's pulled off. Mm. I was not in the elevator alone. Pete, I, I came with people and their tickets were scanned too. It's pretty amazing, Spike, that Reggie Miller is supporting you. Have you heard from any other NBA people today? All right, now, Reggie, me and Reggie, that was, that was 20 years ago. Me and Reggie are tight. He, okay. He, he, he hit me up during the game. Oak hit me up. This morning I heard from Mark Cuban, my friend, he said, Spike, you come to any game, come to any interest you want. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me get on you just a little bit, Spike, all right? Yes. Why not continue to go? I mean, what, what's this ban for the rest of the year? I mean, it's three or four games. Yeah, but you're going to miss the 50th anniversary of, the, of 70? 
Well, I right, uh, when that happens. <laughs> March, March 21st. <laughs> <laughs> and again, right. I know I said a million times, I'll say it again. I was there May 8th, 1970. I was at I that know. game. I was 13 years old. It's a scene in Crooklyn. Yes. My father had a concert. I said, leave my father's concert. I'm going to the game. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you, you, I mean, this is not a joke. You don't spend $10 million on something that you don't love. This is really important to you. I know you love the Knicks. You've suffered through a lot of losing. Does something like this, what's happened today and last night, does it hurt you, Spike? Well, look, here's the thing. And, I, and a, a week, uh, last week I was at in L.A., the Staples Center for Kobe's memorial and, his, you know, other Johnny, other people. Life is too short. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. And to be in the mix of some BS based upon BS is sad. It's really sad. Do you think Jim Dolan's the reason why the Knicks don't win? You got to go to the top. Do you think incidents like this are the reason why free agents don't want to come here? Yes. And 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 and, and all deference to Mr. KB, Kevin Durant, we talked about why free agents would not come play for New York Knickerbockers and world's most famous arena. The one thing, the biggest thing he left out, the biggest thing he left out, which was Charles Oakley being arrested and let out in handcuffs. That... We, I feel the Knicks still not go over that when you talk to the players. All these guys know each other, have to give each other's numbers on speed dial. And I bet everybody in the league was on their phone saying, did you see that? You know what? I'm like, F that. I'm not going to New York. Well, I'll, I'll go there once or twice a year you know, as a visiting team. That I still feel that is the biggest reason. Why? Can you imagine? I mean, you think about players. Forget about just players that exemplify the heart and the soul of the team. Pete Rose dragged off the field. I mean, guys who died for their teams and the fans know and love it, and then they see how the team treats one of our own. So there'll be never any breaking point for you. Like this is still going to be your team, no matter how, no oh, matter what no happens. Matter what. I just hope I see another a third banner hung before I, I go to the upper room. <laughs> I, I, I heard. I just heard from a, a an, an insider who knows a lot about things that happen in in local sports. Right. Who said. They 1,000% have security following him. He's being purposely agitated for some reason. Maybe because they don't want him being the face of the fans. They want new blood like a Drake-type ambassador. Do you think there's any chance that you're being targeted here, Spike? Yes, I've said it several times publicly. I'm being harassed by James Dolan. I do not know the reason why I'm being harassed. I mean, that's, got, quite, that's it's, quite a it's charge. Got, it's got, it's got, this is, this is, I know everyone at the Garden. The ushers, security, ushers who been who see my children grow up. My daughter's twenty four. My, my my son's twenty two. We would bring our it was crazy because Oakley was playing, but we had our infants in our arms. These guys have to look. Who, I don't even speak to them because I know they get in trouble if they're speaking to me. So we got a little look, just look each other, give us a smile, and we. I don't want nobody to get fired. So I understand. I understand that people walk on eggshells in Madison Square Garden because James don't to fire your ass any second. Mm. Spike, thanks for checking in, man. I'm glad that, you know, we, we know that you you swore on your mother's grave that you were never told that it's a different entrance. And if they had told you, you would have gone in that different entrance. The same way I stopped going down the ramp a month ago. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Spike, and, thanks. And, and let's say no. I'm telling the truth versus the garden spin. Thank you for having me. You got thanks, it, Spike. Spike.